The details tab in the ticket window kind of gives a bunch of the top level important information about the ticket. Uh, it has the ticket number, the job number that's tied to the ticket number, the statuses, and etc. As we go down here, you can see that it also has a lot of the information that's important for billing and for location information. So right here we have the purchaser, which in this case is Bravo Energy Core, the region that we ran under for that specific purchaser, any purchase order numbers or secondary purchase order numbers. And then we have the cargo with the um, primary measurement, the one that usually is the most important here. So we, in this case, have loaded barrels, which has, in this case, gross and net. The next part down here is the pickup information. So the pickup location was the Ironwood Tank Battery, uh, Colorado City, Mich Mitchell County, Te Texas. Um, so you got the city, state, county, all sort of stuff there. The producer property numbers and all the different information about this facility that may be relevant. Um, dock types, barrels per inch, things like that. The next section is the drop-off location information, city, state, county name, any additional IDs, and the account that was dropped off, and if there's an associate account number. And then down here, you can see how many miles that route was, the driver information, and then depending on some settings and your user permissions, you have the ability to potentially open up some of the code-related um, parts of this page. But uh, you'll notice that there's quite a few different little icons next to a lot of the uh, things here. These are the ability to view or edit the uh, different components here. So for example, up here at the top, you have the status completed with a little checkbox next to it with an edit icon. So if I click on that, it's going to change it from kind of visit the uh, just text there to a drop down, And I could go ahead and change this um, field to a different property. So instead of doing completed, I could say, hey, this was an incompleted load. And then I just need to click enter to confirm. And so this says you're sure you want to change the status. Doing so will interrupt their load. Well, this is a pass load, so it's not going to interrupt the driver. It'll just affect the accounting information. So I can go ahead and click update. And you'll notice that the banner up here went from blue, which means complete, to red to incomplete. So whenever you open up a load, depending on the color at the top, it kind of gives you an indicator of what the uh, status of the load is. So green is kind of like a green light. It's live. It's going. Blue is complete. Red is incomplete or a reject. The uh, sign of the other ones are different colors. This one's like kind of a darker gray and unassigned is probably about the same color since it hasn't been assigned out yet, a lighter gray. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back over to complete, but uh, pretty easy to go in and edit those fields. Uh, you can also change the reject status. In this case, it's accept because it's completed, but if it was a rejected load uh, for this specific cargo type, you have a bunch of different oil related things, high bottoms, uh, temperature, gravity, things like that. So, and if I don't want, if I want to kind of close out and not edit it, I can click on this little X to cancel the edit, which will go back to this view. Um, you'll notice we can edit reject notes and, uh, you know, things like property numbers and things like that. So that's kind of the blue little edit will open up either a drop down or a text entry where you can just type in and click enter on your keyboard in order to confirm the change. So the uh, other ones in here, if you see a green magnifying glass, what that will do is it will open up a window where you can see information about the uh, specific um, thing that you're looking at. So if we wanted to look at what metered oil has in terms of measurements or any of that information, we can pull up that pop up. If you want to look up any information on the pickup location, we could come into here and open up windows with information of, you know, tanks, contact information, things like that. So the green magnifying glasses open up just you know, additional information for that specific item. And there's only a few of them in there. The next one here, the yellow little um, route icons. If we click on these, they open up what is called the reroute window or the ability to change this load. So it doesn't have like a blue edit in here. You actually have to go into the yellow reroute. And in here you could change um, information about the uh, route. You could change the purchaser, the cargo, pick up drop-off locations if the load was created incorrectly in the beginning. In this case, maybe I'll go ahead and put in and change the uh, um, purchaser region, which you can see right here that had a little uh, blue notification at the top that said that that was um, properly changed. But uh, yeah, what that does in this case would probably just change some of the accounting information. So. Uh, change in the region may change that. So that's the uh, little yellow icon in here. You can see that there's quite a few things you can change. PO numbers, which you can change out here also. Purchaser, regions, cargos, pickup drop-off locations, docs, accounts, distances. You can see a map and directions down here as well. 
And then the last icon down here, if we scroll down, is the red icon that looks like a little person. This icon lets you change the uh, driver information. So if I click on this, we get access to update the driver, the carrier, the truck or trailer that's being used on this, which obviously will affect accounting information as well, depending on who you pay out um, for completing the load in there. So uh, those are the main icons on this page. So blue is kind of just like a quick edit. Yellow opens up the uh, reroute information. So kind of the, the load information, pick up drop of locations, things like that. The red opens up who transported it, edit. And then the green just opens up a, a window with a bunch more information. So yeah, so that's the uh, details tab within the ticket window.